Okay, I bought this two pack of um, rulers at Lowell's. They are the Lufkin Shock Force Night Eye ruler. They had these over the past Christmas holidays. This two pack was going for $29.98. And now they're clearancing them for $19.98. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to grab onto that. That was a heck of a deal. And, uh, you know, when you consider that just one of these is $29.98 if you just were to buy one of these at Lowe's. Here's just one of them, $29.98. Now I did find on Amazon that they had this two pack uh, for $34.99. Alright, some of the specs here. It's got diamond coated end hook for superior grip. It's got a through hole for scribing and uh, pivoting if you want to uh, make circles. It's got a three inch adapter for inside measurements. It's a two-sided blade with bright green markings, and it's got metal guardrails uh, for the lock button. Okay, the diamond-coated end hook for the grip. Now, it's just on the bottom part. It doesn't have it on the top hook, just here on the bottom on both sides. It's got that uh, coating on there. So when you put it on something, it will stick and uh, help keep it from sliding off. Here you see that coating. And that's on both the front side here and on the back side of this. At the top tabs, it does not have that. And as can be seen here, you have the back side of the the top side here so that if you want to get measurements because this is a double-sided uh, tape it's got measurements on both the top side here and on the bottom side so if you want to do a bottom side measurement or depending on the configuration of what you're trying to measure you could hook it here 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 you could you know just if you if you could hook it on just one you can hook it on just one whatever you can catch on so that's why it's got those ears up on top and here you see the two-sided uh, blade. It's black with bright green markings. Very easy to see. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at this through hole, which you can use for uh, inscribing circles. Now, this is a 16 penny nail, so to do this you'd want to have it down like this on your board. You put the nail in there, now the nail is sloppy. The hole is smaller than a quarter inch. A quarter inch, it's a, it's a little smaller than, a, I couldn't get a quarter inch dowel rod in there. And, uh, a, so this, there's a 16 penny, it's a little loose, depending on how accurate you want to be. This is a number 10 screw, and that's just, just a little loose too. I don't know, I, I couldn't find at the moment a number 12, I know I've got them around here. but So in any event, that's what you would use. Put this down on your board, you could just nail this down like that, then as you pulled this out, you would set this, put your pencil in here. Once you had this anchored down, you could then inscribe a circle, go around and inscribe a circle uh, on the job site, which is good for large diameter. This also has an opening for a tether loop, should you so, so desire.
Okay, so when you're doing inside measuring, the base width is three inches. So if you were doing a measurement between walls in a cabinet, from here to here, you'd get your dimension that it shows right on the inside here, whatever that is, say it's five and three quarters, then you go ahead and add your three inches. That would make it eight and three quarters. And this ruler comes with a two-sided guard, those chrome strips for the lockdown. Now the width of the blade is one and three sixteenths inches. I couldn't find the spec as to the blade thickness, so I'm going to be using these micrometers that has a spherical anvil, which would be the only way to properly measure this thickness because of the curvature that you see of the blade. So if we take a look at the anvil here, which is the side right here, you'll note that it's spherical, it's not flat. Like the blade over here, which is flat, that's flat. This is spherical, so that way, when we go to mic this and get the thickness of the blade, you'll just be touching on a, a very small point here, and it will be able to then mic the uh, curvature of that blade uh, more accurately. And as you can see, the thickness is six thousandths of an inch. Here you see the anvil, the ball anvil on this side. The flat face is over here. And it states that these have been drop tested to 100 feet. No, I'm not going to give that a try. But I did see it uh, on the uh, Lufkin website, and it is pretty impressive. So it should take your ordinary dropping, and it was done on a hard surface. All right, now the manufacturer states that you can get a 14-foot standout, which means that with the ruler and you pull it out, you should be able to reach 14 feet. Well, it's going to be hard to show because of the distance. But you'll take my word for it. When I did this, if I did it horizontal, so in other words, this was horizontal with, with the ground, and I pulled it straight out, okay, there was no way you were getting 14 feet, okay, because it would just collapse. Because at some point, this is level with the ground, all the weight, and it arcs down. So, and the other thing is, because of the extreme arcing, you're not even going to reach 14 feet. You'd almost have, a, have to have another person that could follow the ruler and then see where the point that it dropped and see how many feet it was from the actual but so and then I was able to get it out well past 14 actually you know, about 14 and a half a little bit more if I went on an angle to the ground and held it up at, a, at probably almost a 45 30 45 degree angle I was able to get it out past 14 but obviously it collapsed and the other thing is because of the extreme angle to the ground you're not going to be actually getting 14 feet of, of linear straight distance so uh, your, your normal if you're going to be doing it like 10 foot you're going to go straight out 10 foot whatever you, you'll be fine but so I don't put a whole lot of uh, when when they start telling you how far you can put it out there, there there's other things you've got to look at but it was still very impressive another thing about the standout your arm is way out there. Whatever hand you're holding the body of the um, ruler with, your other hand is way out as far as it can go to help support that. So, you know, uh, again, just, just wanting to state that, that you just can't pull this thing out and uh, your, your other arm will have to be way out there to help support it. So, to me, it's kind of gimmicky. Definitely 10 foot. You know, eight foot is really comfortable. You don't have to screw around too much. Uh, so if you want to reach out eight, ten feet and, and grab something to uh, 
to measure, I would say that would be the more comfortable, at least in my opinion. All right, so I'm going to take a closer look at this uh, nylon-coated steel blade. It's got what Lufkin calls their high-vis, H-I-V-I-Z, high-vis green markings. And i got to say, I really do like them. So if we take a look here, at every foot, this is the uh, top side, at every foot you've got a nice bright square to highlight that foot marking as is the same on the back. So if we pull it out to the two foot, it does the same thing. It does that the whole way on this ruler. Here's how they handle your 16 inch centers for studs. Okay, here's your foot, here's your 16. So you've got 16 instead of the large yellow box to encompass the foot markings, you have a smaller squared highlighted box. So there's your 16, then you're going to have your 32, and now you're going to go to your 48. And what's interesting about 48 is 48 is 4 feet, and remember every foot had a box that was solid the whole width. So whenever you have a center that is on a foot, you know, 16, uh, 32, and then your 48 here, since 48 falls on an even foot, they actually have it to where the box is broken. So it still shows the width of the blade is yellow, but it's broken up, as you see there, so it more closely matches the 32. So I thought that was nice. And it, it's good when you're working. You can see that real fast. And it just gives you a little bit, uh, it, makes your, it makes your work just a little bit quicker.